Dr. Gordon M. Hyde, Communications Department Head at Southern Missionary College, and the college administration are keenly aware that, in general, the church has few trained professionals who excel in editing, writing, broadcasting, public relations, or film production. The radio station WSMC-FM is the hub around which the radio TV emphasis of the department is built. This spring, $24,000 is being raised to increase the output to 70,000 watts effective radiated power for what will be the most powerful station operated by a Seventh-day Adventist institution. Whereas 10 years ago there was but one teacher of speech at SMC, today the department boasts four full-time and one part-time teacher. Well, the first year I heard the radio station was in 1981. That's when we moved to Collegedale in July of 81. And so we listened to it then, and then uh, shortly thereafter, I was uh, put on the radio station as the pastor of the Collegedale Church. The WSMC definitely had an impact in the Chattanooga community. It may not have been bringing, ad bringing new Adventists to the church, but bringing Christians to Christianity. And this guy called me up, and he, uh, he had not been a donor to WSMC before. He said, but I want to tell you my story that he'd been married for was like 30 or 35 years and his wife had passed away from cancer and he said he was so depressed uh, he couldn't get out of bed there was almost nothing that he could do and he said I would not have gotten out of bed each day if it wasn't for WSMC I just want you to know that his uh, his new wife also made a contribution on top of his monthly support there were those who would testify to the fact that your programming especially the spiritual emphasis has encouraged me to seek and find out more about the Adventist doctrines. Came to WSMC, wanted to apply for work for the next fall when I knew I would come to Southern to be a student. Olson Perry was the program director at the time. Don Self was the general manager. Uh, Sam McBride was the music director and uh, and he was the one who trained me. It gets in your blood. Shamefully enough, I'll have to say that um, I would skip class any time to be at the radio station because it just, uh, it, just, it just grabbed you. We have very strong support from our board of directors. We have 100% giving on our staff. In fact, even some of our student staff on, the, on their meager wages and living on ramen noodles, um, many of them also financially support WSMC. Once I was quite some distance from here, I was in Rome, Georgia, and uh, I went to a restaurant and there was a waiter there that went by and he came to me and said, do I know you? And I, I said, I don't think so. And then he talked to me a little bit and he said, I know, I recognize your voice because I've listened to you on the radio. He was not a member of the church, but he listened on Sabbath and listened to the sermons that I preached and recognized me simply by listening to my voice. But Fred got the idea that it would be cool to get the sound of a rooster record a rooster, play the rooster on the air before he ever played the national anthem. We gave it a name, Brewster the Rooster. Marvin Robertson was chairman of the music department at the time. He apparently did not turn his radio off of WSMC. In fact, he didn't turn his radio off. When WSMC came on at 6 o'clock in the morning, that's when he would wake up. We started using Brewster the Rooster, and I am telling you, I think we scared the living daylights out of Marvin Robertson on the first day that we did that. and. Um, Needless to say, he was able to arrange uh, such that Brewster the Rooster was not on the air anymore. During those 50 years, by watching the station mushroom from a little, what would I call, hole in the wall, operated by students, to a facility which could boast of 100,000 watts and going 24 hours on the community, I think made a tremendous impact on the overall community. Alumni that care about Southern Adventist University and the missions and objectives of Southern Adventist University really are our best supporters. These are the people that have a vested interest in the success of the friendship evangelism that takes place at WSMC. Gordon Hyde, I believe, used to do the Sabbath transition. Here on the campus of Southern Missionary College in College Dale, Tennessee, the sun is swiftly sinking behind White Oak Mountain. The campus is growing quiet. The stores and service stations are closed. The college industries have shut down, and a hush has settled over the valley. 
and we always enjoyed listening to the uh, fact that the music would change from on Friday evening from uh, the more secular music to the Sabbath music and they asked me to do that recording some years after I, I came. WSMC now makes a transition in its programming to bring you inspirational music and challenging, encouraging thoughts on the weekend. We invite our listeners to enter into the spirit of this day of rest with the faculty and students of Southern Adventist University. May God in a marked manner continue to use this facility to His glory. Mm -hmm.